Yeah, since it's a rainy day, uh, this is the new super power jack. So that's the new arm. Get back a bit so you can see it. My messy bench. All right. Anyway, this is the tracker circuit, which is going to go into said cheese whiz jar. It is cheese whiz. Okay, there you go. Anyway, uh, just briefly show you how this works using an LED flashlight for test. This is the east LED. So let's give it a second here. I'll show you what happens. The circuit will sample it. Now it's pushing the to the east and it runs for a certain amount of time and shuts off so it has a duty cycle of a few seconds and I think it goes for about 30 seconds adjustable and then samples the light again and if the light is still brighter on the east side than on the west side it will push the dish towards the east so we'll just wait for it here I think I have the duty cycle set for about 30 seconds we'll find out Yep, there it goes. Again, runs for five seconds or so. Click, there it goes. Then if I switch the light source now, got it on the west LED. It will now sense that there's more light on the west side, which will pull the dish to the west. And again, once the duty cycle times out, Waiting is the hardest part. There it goes. So there you have it. Now, at some point in the duty cycle, I switch over. Didn't catch it in time, but it will. You watch it; it would oscillate between one side and the other. Let's see if I can do that for you. Just give you the entire test here, just to show you how this thing works. Okay, heading west, switch over. Oh look, going back east. And at some point, if you get it in the middle, it stops. There you go. So that's how these solar trackers work. Pretty cool. Uh, 12 volt battery. And like I said, the circuit is pretty simple here. Just got this to hold it from falling down. There's not much to it really. If I get that to focus or not. And this is available through Red Rock Energy in Minnesota. Oh, there it goes. <clears throat> anyway, thanks for watching.